Well, next tonight, voting began today in Russian-held regions of Ukraine in what have been condemned as sham referendums to become part of Russia. The votes are being held in Luhansk, Kherson and partly controlled Russian-controlled Zaporizhia and Donetsk regions. Well, Russia, which annexed the southern region of Crimea in 2014, is trying to control the four regions to its north. The polls remain open until Tuesday, but with people reportedly being forced to vote, the result isn't in doubt. Our correspondent, John reports from Zaporizhia, which will be cut in half by annexation. They have just given their verdict on Vladimir Putin's vision for their homeland. Another family who voted by leaving. I'm so happy, says Lyudmila, to breathe the fresh air of freedom again. She's among the lucky few allowed to cross the front line from occupied territory that could soon be declared Russian. Most people, where you've just come from, do they want to be part of a Russian motherland? Every second we were waiting for the Ukrainian army to liberate us. We were glad to hear every incoming shell. We wondered how long can Russians last? The families who have escaped today include the old and the young. But no men of fighting age have been allowed out. And here, they fear that Vladimir Putin has plans for their young men. How do you feel about leaving your son behind to maybe fight for the Russians? <laughs> it's very hard, says Natalia. Her son is 27. She fears he may one day be made to join the Russian army. And in the Russian-controlled areas, few expect the vote to be free or fair. Pictures shared on social media that are hard to verify appear to show ballot boxes and voting papers delivered by soldiers. Though some do feel an affinity with Moscow and others hope it will help bring peace. I think we have no other choice, says this woman. This has to end sometime. We travelled to a small town just north of the line where Putin plans his new border, dividing friends, family and a nation. We are one family. We live close, just a few kilometers from each other. We went to the same school and now the Russians have cut us in two. But the result of the vote is not in doubt. It is one victory in Ukraine Vladimir Putin can count on. John Ray, ITV News, Zaporizhia.